Artificial intelligence is changing the way doctors treat patients. In an operating theatre, this surgical robot can do extraordinary things, like helping surgeons with complex keyhole operations. It's quite exciting to see robotic techniques rolled out. First of all, uh, from an ergonomic point of view, just from a surgeon's point of view, uh, you can set the, the system up far better to mean that the stresses on the body are less, which hopefully will improve uh, injury rates for surgeons longer term, which will enable us to perform, potentially push the boundaries of surgery again, just as keyhole surgery did in the 90s. Consultants like Jonathan Morton are amongst a handful of surgeons trying out the new technology. It will soon be rolled out in hospitals across the country. So how does it work? The robots allow surgeons to operate four robotic arms, which can be used to control surgical instruments from a computer. It's not actually the robot doing the surgery per se, it's the surgeon with the experience and the knowledge uh, that is telling the robot what to do. The NHS is developing a £50 million framework for robotic surgical equipment, which some are calling a mechanical revolution for medicine. These new robots won't replace medics in our hospitals, according to the Royal College of Surgeons. They say doctors will remain in control of operations, but robots will also play an important role. Although using the technology may bring advantages to the operating table, training is key, says this leading surgeon. The robot is not going to be taking over what surgeons do. The robot will become an integral part of the, the tools that surgeons use to carry out operations on their patients. Now maybe in the long distance, 20 years down the line, there may be some uh, aspects of surgery that are delivered by robots. So should we be afraid of robots performing surgical procedures? Well, the manufacturers behind the technology claim patients should be reassured because they are safe. The vision we have is that um, we have built a system that will enable many, many more patients to get minimal access surgery and all the benefits that that brings for them in terms of reduced complications, reduced pain, um, you know, quicker return to work, etc. And the, um, the, the aim is to put this system in as many hospitals worldwide as we can. It may seem hard to imagine, but this robot and others alike might possibly mean a difference between life and death in operating theatres. No Phillips, Sky News.